So this is just a quick video to show how to put together one of my pumpkins. Okay, so the parts that you should have printed are the insert, the base, the top, the nose, two buttons, one is shorter than the other, one's longer. You're going to need a stump, either the one with the hole in it or one without. You can also include my um, flame LED diffuser. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, now some extra parts you're going to need are a LED. I like the ones from uh, Edgelec. I guess that's how you say Edge, Edgelec. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> they have nice long leads. Gonna need a CR2032 battery. Um, and I, I buy these little chains from Amazon. Put another link in the description. Now for tools, you're gonna need a razor blade, a push pin, a flat edge screwdriver, uh, some clippers, some needle nose pliers, some sandpaper on a block this is 120 grit and this one's optional but i i like to use it to uh push the nose into place you need a fair amount of force to do that so you're going to want to start with the uh the base now 3d printers very often they leave a little lip around the bottom edge so yeah you want to get that off with the sandpaper and uh, get a little razor blade. Do what you think you should. Next up, you're gonna want to uh, sand this down a little because you want it to fit very tightly into this piece, like so. I've printed the two buttons in a glow-in-the-dark PLA. One of them is longer than the other by design. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sand these down a bit because not all printers are the same and uh, you, wanna, you wanna get it just right. So you're gonna put the longer of the two buttons on the left side as the pumpkin is facing you. Now the buttons have a little lip on the inside here, on the top. That's what keeps the button from going through. And they should be flush like that. Let's put the shorter one on the other side. There we go. And let's just test it out with the battery. Should be moving pretty easily. You want it to move pretty much as easily as you can without the buttons actually flopping around. What's that? Okay, so let's do the uh, electronics. What you're gonna need is your inset piece, the insert. And uh, these holes can be a little tight, too tight on a lot of 3D printers. So just clear them out with a push pin. That looks good. Now take your, um, your LED and your battery. Is a good time to test it. The shorter of the two leads goes to the top of the battery. That works. So let's take the LED and we're going to take both the leads but remember which is which. 
I've got the shorter of the two leads on the uh, right here. I'm bending it flat. I'm going to bend the other one flat too. Now about a quarter of an inch in, bending that. Now that's the shorter of the two leads and I am putting it through this hole right here. And you can see the LED is centered in the thing. Now what I like to do is rotate it about that far and use that as a guide to bend the next hole. And let's bend that straight. And at this point the two leads should be about the same height. So let's put that through. And uh, you're centered. Both wires are the same length. And here comes the fun part. Get your needle nose pliers. And take this lead and push it through from the underside. And now grab it from the top and just haul it. Just pull it up. There you go. And we're going to do the same thing to the other one, but this one's trickier because the hole is a lot closer. go and grab the wire once it pops out. See the wire is popping out now. I'm just pulling and twisting it to get it through. And there we go. So let's bend those down and clip them off so they look tidy. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the light onto the uh, the base. Should just snap in there. There we go. Now at this point, if you're going to use a um, diffuser, so you go ahead and put that on. Position it the way you want because you're not going to be able to get it off real easy. There we go. Okay, let's install the nose onto the face. I'm going to take the, uh, the nose. There's a little bump, which is the point of the nose that should be outwards. It's going to go in right there. There's a little slot that it snaps into. Now this tab is beveled a little bit so that it should start without too much difficulty. But then it gets really tight. There we go. Now once you've got that snapped in, it should stay there forever. Okay, now I'm gonna put the stump in. The hole that the stump goes into is, it's a little wider than it would be. Uh, this is the only gap where I've given you extra room. Um, but if your printer tends to over extrude, you may want to print the stump slightly smaller than normal. So 
So start the stump with a pair of needle nose pliers. Then just push it in with your thumb. There we go. When you get when you get it in, it will snap in place. Should never move again. Uh, now we're basically done at this point. The last thing to do is to assemble the base and the top. Now this is a little tricky. PLA is not known for its forgiving nature. It's not flexible. But if you just put the two together and push down firmly but evenly, it should snap together and never move again. Done. And a little chain if you want one.